how you going? So a couple of months ago, I realized I had too many legs. And to fix this, I made this, a giant Beyblade out of a three foot wide circular saw blade, which was meant to be powered by this lawnmower and be powerful enough to rip apart a whole house. But this didn't happen. And the only thing I smashed were the expensive drug growing light bulbs of a Chinese triad. But you guys have obviously oh done this my. before and had some pretty good suggestions on how I could make the Beyblade more powerful. So today, I'm gonna listen to you and finally lose that leg. <laughs> oh my. All right, the first thing I need to do is clean the Beyblade. As who would have known that if you leave your giant Beyblade outside in the rain, that it gets rusty, not me. Yeah, that's good, you can stop spraying it with a hose now. Cool. And I'm very tempted to leave it <laughs> rusty and just paint over it, but I need to remove at least some of the rust in order to weld. So I just used a grinder and my shirt and rubbed it a bunch of times until a decent amount of rust came off. Oh my. Oh my. Which should now be clean enough to weld on. So this is where your first suggestion comes in. What and that's fuck? to add massive thick blades similar to real bay blades that stick out a couple of inches from the side. As previously, when it made contact with an object, the blade gently soared through it, just like a sawmill blade is meant to do, which I don't want. I want it to smash things, sending them flying towards me. And to achieve this, uh. I picked up these three pound pieces of scrap metal, which I'll attach on top. And I need them to be even in weight. So I just weighed the metal bars. <laughs> and this one is one gram more. So when I cut them, I just need to remember to cut slightly more <laughs> off this one. I, I mean this one. And now that they look a little more appropriate for a Beyblade, I need to figure out the right place to put them so that the blade is evenly weighted. So I just drew some lines and randomly moved the bars around on top until the blade manages to stand up on its own. And I don't know if this means it'll be evenly weighted when it spins, but at least it looks good in oh. this position. Whoa. Then I just whipped Lit. up the welder and put down some tacks, oh. then welded the bars oh. lightly in place. <laughs> Now they should be stuck on enough to not fly off. So let's give it a kind of slow test to see what happens. Oh my. You, you don't want to weld them some and more? It wobbles, but I don't really care as long as it stays upright enough, as I'm sure that you these bigger blades are definitely going to give it more destructive Bro, power. what are you doing? So I just welded on the blades permanently. And a lot of you are always giving me crap for my weld, but take a look at this, Brian. That's not actually bad. And if you don't think so, I will 1v1 you in a weld off, all right? All I need to do now is make sure it's able to deliver this new power, which is where the second suggestion comes in, which is to give it a rubber tip so that the Beyblade is more grippy, meaning it will walk around the room. As last time, it just spun around in one spot and was super depressing. And I do have 100 rubbers I could put on the tip, but I reckon a better option is this industrial rubber dip glue. Now you may have noticed that when I was cleaning the rust off, I decided not to clean the tip. And that's not because I'm lazy, it's because I reckon the extra friction will help the rubber dip glue stick to the metal. And this rubber uh -huh. dip gluey stuff is super underrated. It's extremely useful, fun, and easy to apply. Fork isn't grippy enough? Dip it in rubber glue. Allen key isn't grippy enough? Rubber glue. Actually, maybe it's me that isn't grippy enough. Don't, don't do it. Don't. What the? What did No way! Right now. Happy. Talent, thank you for the re, re Happy two months. Happy two months. What the fuck 
is going on? After a bunch of coats, the rubber glue <laughs> is stuck on the tip hard, which should make the Beyblade oh grip God. the ground more. So I just gave Sorry, it a couple Bobby. of coats of paint oh. in grey and yellow, and a big kiss, and now it looks perfect. Hi which brings me to your last actually helpful suggestion, which was to use a device that has a clutch to spin the Beyblade. And there are two things I have at home that have a clutch. One is used to wash clothes and the other is used to cut trees. So my family's just gonna have to find a new way to wash clothes as I'm gonna borrow the chainsaw for a couple of days. What? Uh -huh. My plan is pretty simple. I'm just gonna take apart the chainsaw. My sock. Then all I need to do is attach a pipe That's to this where they clutch go. with some walls on the side and then attach the rope to the pipe so that when I turn the chainsaw on, it winds the rope up at high speed. And hopefully because I have a clutch, I'll be able to start winding it slowly without ripping the rope like last time. Cable just ripped. <laughs> Far out. Oh, okay, fuck. now the first thing I got to do is weld this pipe oh. to the second clutch that I bought. Why does he keep burning himself on it after he gets done cutting it? Bro, if it's gonna be oh, hot, shit. then we're oh. close. <laughs> And I thought I was going to be able to do it with this stick welder, but I welded right through the pipe. No! Which doesn't matter that much in this spot, but I can't afford to do that up on the thinner sections of the oh metal. My... So instead of having to learn and actually improve oh my... my stick welding skills, I just bought this midge welder. I mean, dwarf welder, sorry. Which is super easy to use. And after practicing on some scrap metal and creating this weird looking dog, it's time to do it on the real thing. <laughs> And to make the side plates, I'm using this thick sheet metal that I found, which I'm going to cut some circles out of using this circular hole saw. And to do that, first I need to rearrange the belts on my drill press so that it's turning at the slowest speed it can, which is suitable for cutting metal. But after cutting out the circles with this hole saw, I think this metal is a little too thick and heavy, which might actually cause the pipe to bend and fly off into my head at high speed. Oh. So I just cut the piece of metal straight down the middle to create two thin pieces. Then I just cut another hole so that I can put the pipe in the middle of the metal oh. and now to weld it. And if I stuff up this weld, I'll have to order a new clutch, which takes a couple of weeks to arrive, meaning this video is going to be super delayed. But I guess you already know if that's happened or not. So I just said some prayers. Oh my. And began. especially since the plates have kind of deformed and, and warped so much from the heat. Oh, oh my... But it's nothing suppliers God. can't fix. And you, you know, I definitely wouldn't hire me as a welder either, but this should still work, which at the end of the day is all that matters. Okay, now I just need to make a guide for the rope <laughs> so that it only wraps around the pipe and not the chainsaw and me. So to do that, the first thing I need to do is take off the guide that I've already got on there as I'm filming this out of order. Uh, uh, and then <laughs> I can put it back together. 
So this guide just uses two bolts with some <laughs> aluminium pipe on them, which should spin, allowing the rope to easily pass through. And even if I the pipe I doesn't see. spin, yeah, the aluminium great. is pretty slippery and hopefully won't cut the rope. So now there's nothing left to do but shove in this little snap ring, which is the only thing securing this heavy pipe to the chainsaw. And then oil it up. And now let's give it a test and see if the chainsaw survives and stays oh together. It rotated the clutch brake out. Why the heck did I put that on? Oh! Hello. And it was vibrating so much that it popped the clutch brake clean off. So I'm gonna try again oh. with no brakes. And it flung something else off this time, but it did seem to rotate all right. So I kept that missing part off and decided to test it outside. All right, let's see how well it pulls a two liter milk bottle across my yard. Oh my. And I didn't realize how terrifying it would be having a milk bottle flying towards me across my yard, but it means the winch works, which is great. And I now also have a quick and easy way of getting milk out of the fridge. Oh. Oh. Oh, what the fuck? So now I'm just gonna combine all of these new elements and head back to the dealer's house to hopefully smash some stuff. Ah, uh, home sweet home, huh? <laughs> Ah, oh, feels good to be back. I just forget how much stuff we've moved here. Like this mattress, was that there? Oh, we moved it there so we could jump on it. Oh my... Is there a jump on it? No. I mean, they didn't touch our claw, did they? Well, let's go find out. Did they touch our claw? I want to live next to this guy, what bro. What emotion I'm meant to feel. We're meant to be scared going into a Chinese drug dealer's house. Yeah, I don't know. I just, I feel like I missed it. I feel like I've spent so much time here and really gotten gotten to know the place. We cleaned it up a bit. This, you could barely walk through here. No, we f did a good job here, didn't we? Oh, let's go see <sighs> if the claw is still there. Oh man, I hope if someone touched that claw. No, absolutely no way. The claw is still here. Man, we really f this place up. We really do. Oh, Can you imagine though, if you went on a holiday or you went away from your house and you came back and someone had just installed a claw? I think on holiday is a euphemism for someone going to jail for, for producing drugs, but sure. I think that would be disgusting. I'd, I mean, I'd be very scared. I would just pack up and move. I would. Well, if I had the money, I'd pack up and move. If I didn't, I'd probably just become an insomniac. And for those who don't know, last time I made the Beyblade, I came to this house as I knew it was abandoned and I knew I could wreck it. But oh. what I didn't know, that it was previously used by a Chinese triad to grow weed. And luckily the dealers had not come back and touched our claw that we made. Oh, it's cool that it's not actually this that's shaky, it's the original. Oh my like, God. Like, the roof. Why is that cool? <laughs> Why is it cool that the roof's gonna fall down, not the thing I built? Like, you did a good job making this, it's very sturdy. Okay. <laughs> that would actually suck. I mean, if the whole roof fell down, I can just move this to a different one. <laughs> Make that part of the roof fall down. It's dusty in here. You alright? Yeah, I've just got dust in my face. Maybe you're high, man. Maybe you're high. Oh, man. Yeah, the old what the marijuana fuck? sneezes. <laughs> oh, here it comes, boys. <laughs> I, I, I'm so high right now. <laughs> it looks like you left your baby like parked in a legal spot and they, they impounded oh, it. <laughs> <laughs> no Beyblade like parking here. Oh my parking god! The council, get it off. Yeah, that's <laughs> no rip zone. <laughs> no no rip, rip zone. zone. <laughs> so we just tied up our previous mess and constructed a normal living arrangement, including, of course, a cow leg bone chair. So I got this bone for a human leg comparison to see what would actually happen if it smashed into your leg. What kind of human has half a bone in their leg? Well, it's still, it'll still, it'll still work. You, know? <laughs> you couldn't spring for the full bone. I'm going to tape the bone to the chair. Oh, okay, so in that way, together with the wood, it becomes a full leg. It becomes a full leg, exactly. Okay, okay yeah, that makes sense. 
Oh, that'd be so much better than doing this whole thing just to leave the cell like this. <laughs> and the bone strapped to a leg. It looks like a torture scene. It looks like there was a man here with a full body connected <laughs> to a leg. <laughs> oh my god, it does! Everything besides this half body. He cut his whole body oh off. Oh my god, it um, does! I thought we would name it after one of my Patreons. Okay. Tommy the Rat, the rat King. But I'm just hoping that, he, <laughs> that he's not missing a leg in real life, because that would be the most f***ed up way to say thank you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's his, uh, your trauma. Yeah. Then we checked the chainsaw was working. Sounds good. It sounds like nothing. It sounds like fucking shit. I think that's good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and just wound the rope onto it and the Beyblade. And it was time for the first test. Right, so I'll just quickly tell you what we're going to do oh. yeah. so we know we don't run into each other. Um, I'll stand here with the chainsaw, yeah. the door. As soon as it gets kind of started and starts spinning fast, I'm going to stand behind this frame. Yeah. And then as soon as the rope fully comes off the Beyblade and goes onto the chainsaw, I'll say pull. Can I pull, pull this? The thing, releasing the clamp, and then I, you and me, I think we should probably get out. Get out quite a bit, just in case it like turns on its side, flies through this door, comes and comes around. Oh I guess we are running away. God. We should run away. Okay. Yeah. Racing already. <laughs> oh. <sighs> oh I think I'm just terrified. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. I'm scared. Okay, you ready? You recording? Yeah. Thank you so much for the sub. In two months, shall we? Take it like a like a like a Oh. Sorry. Thank you so much for the resub. We have eight months. Happy. Haven't stopped yet. How can you hear it spinning? You got that stuff on your ears. You can hear it spinning. Should we go look? Huh? Oh. Yeah, she's on the floor, not moving. Not moving? Oh, it's just spinning there. Oh, why does it always do this? Why do you make such perfectly balanced things? Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna throw something into it, yeah? That's fine. Okay. Doing a nice little tennis serve. We gotta get it to that was going. That worked so well. That spun so fast. <laughs> it's just screaming. <laughs> So it definitely works a lot better than before, and as you can tell from my screams, it was also a little more terrifying than before. Almost sounding like a helicopter attempting to take off inside the house. But the rubber tip didn't seem to make a difference, and the Beyblade still just spins in one spot. No, no, let's look at the bottom. Because I dipped the, the bottom in rubber. Oh, look at that, the rubber's completely gone already. <laughs> Look at that bear tip. Hey yo. Been circumcised. So we introduced a little slope to help it out. Oh, Thanks, uh, let's Tommy, go. number one subscriber, who donated their leg yeah. for this experiment. So if you guys ever lose a limb, consider donating it to I Did a Thing. I don't ask much from you guys. Oh so my god. It's the least you can do, I reckon. Just Send one leg. Just one leg. You've got another one. I have never said smash that like button. No. Ne not and once. Now you're calling in that favor and saying, smash um, that leg. <laughs> Easy does it. Easy does it. Here we go. You're really trying to sneak up calling to a baby leg. Yeah. You ready? Yep. Fuck. No shot. Oh. Oh. Oh my god. Ah, uh, we just make a bigger ramp. Bigger ramp? And it managed to hit this lousy melon, but I want more. And we do know which way it seems to run now. So we did the same setup, but this time placing Tommy's leg right in the Beyblade's path. Uh, oh my. You bet I am, boy. Oh, fuck. Oh my. Oh my god! Oh my fucking god! Let it rip! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Something happened. That sounded promising. Fuck! 
fuck? Yes. The bone? The leg oh, is gone. <laughs> oh. Is it still spinning? Yeah, look at the challenge. Oh <laughs> my god. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like a prank seat. Oh. There's a bit of the bone. <laughs> Jesus Whoa. Oh, yes. Cool. We got something. Something happens. Oh my. Cool. Yeah. God. Well, uh, I'm sorry, Tommy, but I don't, I don't think you made it. Oh. Where's the other Poor part of him? Oh, there it is. Where? Behind you oh on the wall. Oh my God. Yeah, I'm, I'm watching that on slow-mo now, I can't. Yeah, that's gonna be sick. And that was the result I wanted to Yo, see. Yo, imagine if people come back, they just see leg filaments and chair legs or fragments in the fucking house. The <laughs> Everything about this is absolutely terrifying, especially the speed and the helicopter noise. That was as well, it just hits it, boom. Just, oh my God. I mean, this is, this is very confusing. It's just a normal chair. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> <laughs> It's not, it's, it's like... What kind of chairs do these... That is ridiculous. This is a cool drug dealers. <laughs> He's a cool <laughs> drug dealer. <laughs> Alright, let's smash some more stuff, like a TV. Oh. Please. Come on, TV. Come on. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit! Yes! That's the noise. Yes. So much disruption. Oh! And the Beyblade's fine. <gasps> What's in there? The fragment of the chair pierced the f. <laughs> Oh my god, that's so scary because I was looking, I was considering looking around the corner. Imagine just having oh, get stuck in you. Whoa. And the glass is still intact. What the? The, the entire TV is intact. I love these old TVs. I think we say the TV just wins. <laughs> yeah, we don't even try to smash it. Now, I don't really know what I was expecting oh my god. or what I wanted to happen, but I, I suppose I. I got it. It did smash some stuff. And it's definitely safe to say if your leg was first cut in half vertically, the Beyblade could then remove it. But for some reason, I, I still feel so unfulfilled. What the? Yo, it's Shelby Ashish. Hi! I do a stream on Twitch if you guys ever want to drop by, you know, 100% not mandatory, but if I want to make it mandatory, then I guess I could. Uh, fuck it, it's not mandatory. I, 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 uh, I stream on Twitch if you guys want to drop by, you know. Uh, Megalodon VT. I mean, twitch.tv slash Megalodon VT. Yeah. Um, so that's pretty cool. Okay. Anyways, um. See you guys in the next video. Is that what YouTubers say? I'm streaming. I don't know how to do this. Okay. Okay, bye!